Some of his vibrant, colorful pieces can be seen hanging on the walls of his home. Nor is an artist who owns Chic Arts. The gallery was started by his father in 1979 and is one of Mogadishu's oldest galleries. My father inspired me to become an artist and I decided it was the only profession I wanted. The arts were also the only education that my father could afford to give me during the civil era in Somalia. The main challenge that I face now is that I'm struggling to make a good living of my art. Noor is not alone. His brothers have also followed in their father's footsteps. They paint and sell their pieces to prospective clients. I am buying this piece of art to show my children our traditional way of life, how our ancestors used to live and the tools they used to use at that time. The country's art scene is slowly coming back to life. These days, though, life is still a struggle for many artists, but of a different kind. Painting an African traditional way of life is a specialty for Shik Shik artists. This piece is one of the weapons such as knives and bows and arrows which Somali people used a long time ago. What inspired me to create this piece is that I wanted to teach people about our history and help them understand our culture. Though art has had a long history in Somalia, there are only three galleries in the city and people rarely buy pieces from local artists. Mahe Mutua CCTV.